Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we will see crack width calculations. So in IS456-2000, clause number 35.3.2 states under the limit state of serviceability that is limit state of serviceability for cracking that cracking of the structure should not adversely affect the appearance or the durability of the structure and the acceptable limit for the cracking would vary with the type of the structure and environment that means the acceptable limit of cracking is different for the different types of structure and different types of environment okay where specific attention is required to limit the design crack width to a particular value and the crack width calculations may be done by using the formula which is given in an exer f of is 456 2000 okay so we will see an exer f of is 456 which is on page number 95 so here is the design surface crack width formula it is given by WCR is equal to 3 into ACR into epsilon M upon 1 plus 2 into ACR minus C minimum upon H minus X where ACR is equal to distance from the point considered to the surface of the nearest longitudinal bar. C minimum is the minimum cover to the longitudinal bar. H is the overall depth of the member and X is the depth of neutral axis okay the practical objective of calculating crack width is merely to give the guidance to the designer in making appropriate structural arrangement and in avoiding the gross errors in the design which might result in the concentration and excessive width of flexural cracks so the surface of the width of the crack should not in general exceed 0.3 mm in the member where cracking is not harmful and does not have any serious adverse effect okay so if the member where cracking is not very harmful and there is not severely adverse effect of that so the permissible crack width is 0.3 mm okay and in the member where cracking in the tensile zone is harmful then the maximum crack width should be limited to 0.2 mm that means in case where the cracking in tension zone is harmful then our crack width should not be exceeded than 0.2 mm similarly for particularly aggressive environment such as the severe category the assessed surface width of the crack should not be more than 0.1 mm okay so for the aggressive environment or the severe category the crack width is limited to 0.1 mm okay so this was the video about crack width calculations thank you